How is everything over there? And more importantly, how is Grady? He's, I, you know, I don't know. He's, he's around here yelling at Ooh, la, la. So he is doing good. Okay. He has a new game. I was telling people about earlier. He, he will come up to me and start screaming. Okay. And I'm like, oh, you want me to pet you? No, he jumps down and goes to the door. I'm like, what? And then he'll come back over and, and scream. So I follow him. Okay. And he leads me into the bathroom and proceeds to yell at the toilet. Hmm. And people are suggesting maybe the toilet is haunted. And you know what? They're probably not wrong. Yeah. I have done terrible things with my butt in my lifetime. So I uh, see you had, you had such a nice cat story until you started talking that going that direction. This was an adorable hallmark moment. And then you turned it into comedy there, central. There is no adorable hallmark moment with that cat. He is a gremlin. <laughs> All cats are gremlins. You were selling such a good pitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi Luke, everyone. This is Luke from rocked. How you doing, dude? Good. It's been a while. How are you? And it's been a while. You know, Tara's been, you know, not able to do the show every week. Um, she's out this week. She's got a little bit of an emergency. So thankfully, Luke graciously agreed to hop in and help us out. Um, Tara's we've... been a champ for many weeks in a row. If anyone deserves a break from her line of work, it would be this right now. What about me? What about me, though? Let's be honest. You enjoy this just a little too much I to call it. Need a break. You, you I, do. I don't. I don't. No, I don't. All right. <sighs> you ready to get no. underway? I don't know. Am I? Last time. Last time I was here. Last two times I was here, I was pretty traumatized. Just lying in bed, my eyes open, going, "What? <laughs> uh, Good. Uh, there's people out here in the world like this. Oh, uh, just wait." But anyway, uh, let's let's kick it off. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring you back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And uh, this week, we're actually starting off with This Is For You, Luke. We, we actually have a, okay. a, a, a story that kind of involves your wheelhouse. <laughs> Thank you. I'll, I'll put the links. I'll, I'll DM you the links over on Twitter. Okay. This will be the easiest gotcha. way of doing it. Um, oh yeah, yeah. You're you're welcome, dude. Um, so if you're not familiar with with uh, Florida uh, lately, and, and Ron DeSantis, who is just the worst, um, DeSantis forbade local businesses of any kind from checking people's vaccination to verify they've been vaccinated in order to participate. So a concert promoter had a wonderful and completely legal way to work around this. Yes, this I did see. And man, oh man, I hope one just obnoxious, petty, passive, aggressive carrot or super right wing guy does try to pay full price. You know why? Because he'd be the outcast and that band gets a huge payday. Yeah. Um, St. Petersburg, uh -huh. with new CDC guidelines, concerts are starting to come back to Florida, but at least one show has learned your uh, COVID vaccination status will determine how much you pay to attend. Yes. Um, uh, these are all my tickets from of the Brittany. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so how it works is this is for Teenage Bottle Rocket, who we just heard a few minutes ago. Um, they have their show coming up and um Tickets, they cost $18 in advance or 20 at the door if Good you deal. have if you have your, your vaccination card. If you want to go without a vaccination, $1,000 a ticket. <laughs> I want more of these inflation shenanigans for the unvaccinated, the willfully unvaccinated. Yeah, it's... I mean, yeah, they're not. This is capitalism. the the comp The country's back open. This is what everyone wanted. Yeah. We wanted our capitalism back. We wanted to make money again. You can't get mad at these kids for doing that now, can you? Because legally, they can't stop people from. They can't say you have to be vaccinated to attend. But they can determine that you get a discount on the ticket price if you're vaccinated. Yep. yep. They cannot control the set price of right. any of it either. So you know what. I 
hope um, there's a sad line also of just these unvaccinated grown men in Florida outside just pouting and trying to pick it and realize they're not causing they're not doing anything because I mean, Florida's Florida. I, I, I'm already I, I'm already a fan of teenage. I, I would you know, I would honestly if you <laughs> if you put worse comes to worse, if I had to, I might I, I pay a thousand dollars to see teenage bottle rocket. They're good. Mm -hmm. um, bigger than kiss. I love that fucking song. But <laughs> I, on the other hand, I went through the the bullshit. You know, I I did the two shots. The second one knocked me on my ass. Mm -hmm. I it was just my arms stopped fucking working. I've earned this by God. Yeah, you've earned a full discount, eighteen dollars if you want in. That's all you got to pay. Oh. I think it's great. Fucking I want more bands to do this. Yes. Um, talking about this on our podcast literally every week now. There's a dozen new concert tours and festivals being announced all across the U.S. Mm -hmm. It's nonstop. Every band you can imagine is going to be doing a big old tour. From yeah, Gun it's from, from Guns N' Roses all the way to Slipknot. Foo Fighters announced a tour today. You name it, they're going on tour. If more bands did this, watch how many people will get a vaccine real quick. Liz Fair, Alanis, and Garbage. Oh, all the, the same... Yes, oh. Alanis and Gar Garbage was the one I wanted to shoot back in 2020 when they were coming through St. Louis because that's the one I was excited about. And then this uh, one, yeah, we spent a year and a half. Everybody's been bottled up. Damn right, everybody's yep. touring. Yep. Oh, everyone. It's it's massive. So I we going to run out of tour buses. <laughs> they rent them too. Most bands rent those things. So you know what? Yeah, they are going to run out of tour buses. You're going to see bigger bands cramming into those U hauls, just like sitting in folding chairs in the back. Ugh. I, I feel no sympathy, though, by the way, for the people that feel cheated for not being able to go to a bottle, Teenage Bottle Rocket show for $1,000. I don't care. You Just had get more your enough time. fucking back. It. It's, free, it's free, you jackasses. It's free. it's free, and you are in walking distance of a Walgreens, probably. There's a good chance. Don't tell me you can't do it. Uh, well, next up, um, this is St. Louis. No, no, hey! Sioux, no, 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 Sioux City, Iowa. Sorry. St. Louis is a different one. Five this hours away, but yay! <laughs> <laughs> Sioux City, Iowa. Um, I have to deal with people like this occasionally. I've got, I have a yard, which means I have a lawn. The lawn needs to be mowed. I don't always mow it immediately. We don't own a mower. We have to hire somebody to do it. And guess what? And We're juggling money over here because shit's been crazy. In fact, I have to call the guy this week to mow the lawn. They, they get pissy about it. Not not necessarily neighbors, but the actual general community gets pissy if you huh. don't mow your lawn. And it's they're they're actually gonna be fined in certain parts of Charleston if you don't mow your fucking lawn. Is that like HOA or is that just like overall Charleston? Um well we're kind of unincorporated Charleston here, but yeah, it's it's it okay. depends. Um but that's that's this is a very different response to someone not mowing their lawn <sighs> what the fuck dude man allegedly set neighbor's house on fire because they didn't <laughs> mow the lawn oh that oh that doofus mugshot is the perfect example of matching the crime you committed Look at that guy. So City Look Man is in custody and charged with arson after allegedly setting his neighbor's house on fire because they didn't mow the lawn. Oh, 53 year old Lee Bowman, 53 years old. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. According to court documents. On Sunday, just before 6 p.m., the Sioux City Police received a report of a fire. Quarter of the home was burned, causing an estimated three thousand dollars in damages. A fire investigation revealed this to be arson with sticks and plywood propped up against the house along with a fuel accelerant. So what what what's our lead did here was he grabbed a bunch of junk from his yard. He yep. yanked it over to their house. He squirted it with fucking charcoal starter and lit it on fire. So not only did he try to burn his neighbor's house down, he did it badly. He did it like the he did it in a really stupid way. Really stupid too. That's like little kids trying to start a fire in the backyard. And that's all they could figure out how to do. What? 50 You're right though. 53 and this is his um conflict resolution. 
I didn't get what I want, so you don't deserve to have a house. That'll learn you. I'm f- I'm 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 over forty now. I'm not even near fifty three. I'm over forty now, and yet on a sen- Sunday afternoon, six p.m., try to get my ass up to go. I'd be like, oh, I could go burn the neighbor's house down, but I'm tired. Uh oh, did you? I just read the next line under the ad. Uh, mm. uh which one? The victims were in the house at the time yep. of the fire, and a neighbor noticed the fire and banged on the door. Uh, oh, even better, uh, he came to the victim's house on Sunday, which was captured on video. Uh, Bowman was asking when they were going to mow, mow the lawn, and then he tried to take the registration sticker off one of their vehicles. Well, I'm committing one felony. Eh. Uh. Oh. What the, the fucking... Uh. <sighs> I've had some terrible neighbor neighbor yeah. stories in my day. I'm sure you have too, just throughout yeah. whatever experience. Never had anything close to Bowman here. No. Oh my God. <laughs> First, I'm going to burn his house down with the spare two by fours I had in the basement. Then, while no one's looking, I'm going to take his registration off so I don't have to sit at the DMV. And he, here's the, if this had actually worked, the lawn wasn't mowed. Do you understand how fire fucking spreads? You're his name. Where the fuck do you think it's going to go, dumbass? Especially how he started it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you didn't know how to control it after it started getting lot, lot larger, too. Uh, Bowman. Way to go. It, it was it. I, this is the point where sometimes I watch her show and go, was it worth it? Was it really worth it? You get what you wanted? How did this play out in your head? Well, speaking of, was it worth it? Uh, Call this one. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Customer threatens 7-Eleven employee with a gun when told restrooms locked. How many big gulps did you have where that's your last line of uh, resorting? Oh, last resort. I have to give me the key to the bathroom. Police are asking for the public's help in identifying a customer who pointed a gun and threatened to shoot a 7-Eleven store clerk when he was told the restrooms were locked. It said it uh-huh. happened uh, Friday, November 27th, 2020 at approximately 12.30 p.m. Uh, the store employee told, a de- uh, told detectives the man became belligerent, but he was told he could not use the restroom because they were locked. When the store employee asked him to leave, he pointed a gun and told the employee he was going to shoot but then fled the scene. Okay. Here's the, th- here's my thinking here is I have several questions, but go ahead. You have a locked door, right? You don't have a key. Yes. You have a gun. <laughs> Maybe you could have shot the door, the lock. Yeah. If, and- if you're already that desperate, you know what? If you're that like, desperate, like, man, and, and people are like, pee on a tree. Oh, no, this dude didn't have to pee. You can already tell he didn't no, have this to pee. Was number two. Let's let's keep it real. Because, man, oh, man, Ugh. if there's a gun coming out, dude's got to poop. Yeah. Uh, des- I, I stand by. That's <laughs> desperate for your last resort. You're packing heat and you're going to pull it out and make your one shot. To say, open the bathroom door. There's going to be an accident. Not did open he, the cash register. Not and, did, and he ran. He didn't even go to the bathroom. No. So what the? That, f- did he really have to go that bad, <laughs> or did it finally go back up and he didn't have to go anymore when he realized what he was doing? Or were the cops able to follow the trail? They haven't found him. Gross. They haven't found him. They're looking for well, him. They they're still, they're still him. looking for this guy. I know. He's still looking for a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> He's been terror terrorizing gas stations all over the South. Some uh, say on a dark night, who wander into your gas station and need to poop. Open the door! <laughs> open the door! Because, uh, like, say, like, okay. You know, I, I'll, I'll say it. It's terrible, but if I had to poop this bad... And they wouldn't unlock it, and I had no choice, and it was it was horrible. My ass would go out behind the building and yep. pop a squat. 
if it's a gas station, there are trash cans everywhere. Right. I mean, it's terrible. There's, it's off. No, it's gross and it's awful. But if you're that desperate, and it's an emergency. Those are two options right there that won't land you with lifetime felonies. No. Yeah. You might pay a fine or some shit at sure, worst. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're the weirdo. But you know what? If it's that big of an emergency, that's a better alternative than pulling out a gun. Because now you right, you get a record for pu- pooping in public or you can get a record for needing to poop in public so bad you pulled a gun on somebody. So people will at least understand if you pooped in public. Right. You can tell the story and be the cool guy at the party. You can't be the cool guy at the party if you pulled a gun on the teenager working at the quick trip demanding to open the door and then running away without going to the bathroom. Uh... Oh, I, I, I I hope we get an update on him. I hope we get an update on um, whoever this guy is. Did he get what he needed? Or is he still on the lam looking for that unlocked bathroom in the area? Uh, next up uh, is Tennessee. And th- this is kind of a mugshot that says, I don't understand consequences. <laughs> okay. It's, oh. it's, it's just this, I, I don't understand what happened. I just did a thing and people... Made, yeah, that's 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 the look on her. Tennessee woman arrested for speeding through vaccination tent in protest. <sighs> Tennessee woman was arrested this week after authorities say she drove her SUV through a vaccination tent, nearly hitting several people while yelling, "No vaccine!" Virginia, she, she sure told the Virginia oh. Christine Lewis Brown got four oh, names. That is a Tennessee name right there. 36 of Greenback's been charged with seven felony counts of reckless endangerment. She was released on bond totally $21,000. Unclear with she obtained an attorney who can speak on her behalf. Uh, the incident in question occurred Monday. According to the report, two deputies said they were at the location when they saw a blue Chrysler SUV speeding through a cone course past the check-in area and then through the tent. All several health workers and National Guard personnel were preparing to administer vaccines. Let's just pause here. Please, yeah. I'm I'm still processing from just the no vaccine part crashing into the tent. You are advancing at high speed at the National Fucking Guard. Guard. And isn't this like right by Knoxville too? Yeah. Where what you know what else is in Knoxville, everybody? Big fat military complex. That is yeah. a military town. They they. they <sighs> uh, I, I look at her mugshot too. You can see a single tear co- coming down her eye. I don't know. Glasses. Too late, lady. No, nope, it's like, no sympathy what for you. Happened? I no, don't no. understand. All I did was try to kill people. Or not only try to kill people instantly, but also prevent people from getting a vaccine. While tra- so also that too. While traveling to the jail, Miss Brown made several statements about wanting to protest the vaccine. She stated uh-huh. she was driving through the course, and when she got to the tent, she told personnel working there she was not there for the vaccine. No, she was there just being an no, asshole. No, she wasn't. She was making sure no one else got a vaccine for a while either. Just that, that's not a protest. <laughs> That's no. not a protest. That, that you you've crossed over the protest line. The savage rage in this woman right before she did that must have been astronomical, seething like smoke coming out her ears, gripping the wheel, what? ready to floor it. What? Why? <laughs> what the fuck was what was going to be like? That'll show them. No, yeah. no, no, I know. And she said, "What was the line?" While yelling, "No vaccine," nearly hitting several people, like yeah. a catchphrase. I, I, it, it, you do this. It's not like no, no. We're fine. I'm done. I can go home now. No, you don't get to tag out. I said my piece. Thank you very much for listening. I'll be on my way. Where's the next uh, back speed? No, lady. Uh, what? Well, what are they going to say in court? What is her defense? What is her defense going to be? She has nothing. I just, those things are monitored to death too like it was very important to scream no vaccine, no vaccine. okay now what I don't know what, what's it's the, now, what's the exit plan what's the final step profit 
Oh, lady. they have this mentality that, that that they're they're doing what everyone else secretly wants to do, and they'll be hoisted up on shoulders and paraded around the town and given that big gold key to the city. And Ted comes out, gives her a hearty handshake. Ugh. Everyone's on. everyone's going to applaud and say she's the best purse. That's not how it works. Best real American hero, right there. Ugh. Uh, I, you know what? I've said this to you before. That's the lady you want to hear when she's sitting in the county jailhouse with all the other criminals, and they look at her and go, "What are you in here for?" <laughs> I floored into a vaccine tent, yelling, "No vaccine!" And you that's know, it. At least the, the lady in the next story, I can actually kind of understand, it, and it's better than it's stupider, and yet somehow it makes more sense than this lady. Uh, you got some real. Um, all rage filled, no exit plan people this week, I must say. This she what this one is in rage. In fact, she's got the, the most adorable mugshot. Bless her heart. Woman seen jumping into the monkey habitat oh, at the oh. El Paso Zoo. Oh. You know, I can kind of understand that a little. I don't um, know. The woman didn't just put herself in harm's way. She also endangered uh, Libby what, and Sun. Oh, Libby and Sunday, the two spider monkeys, by feeding yeah. them. Monkeys have a specialized diet, so her feeding them caused stomach problems. Yeah. Anything uh, we could have, we could get. Uh, oh, so they could also be infected with the virus. Um. Yeah. So here and yeah, she of course. It went viral. There, there's uh It was. Did they take it off Instagram now? No, no. There I'm, it is. No, it's there she down. is. Oh my gosh. Also, those. Let's be honest. No matter how cute monkeys might be to some people, those monkeys could have ripped her apart. Yeah, monkeys. They, they're adorable, but they are also fucking primates. You give them distance. Yeah. Uh. You are challenging them with your bullshit. But I have to say. The um, watching right now. The mugshot is the most blissfully fucking unaware. Look, look at her. The, the, this is just uh, no. That's wrong. This one. This one. Computer. Help me out here. Help me help you. Just, just, just like. Yeah, I fed the monkeys. It was nice. We had a good time. Tee hee. Did you get that on Instagram live stream? I want to get rival with this. I don't okay look monkeys are adorable they're very <laughs> much like us which should tell you something because we're terrible yeah yeah you know and, like, dogs and cats they are their own thing monkeys they're like they're so like us yes and we're awful we are the worst because <laughs> we'll <laughs> we'll pull a gun on somebody so we can poop poop yeah. If you give a monkey a gun, they'd probably pull a gun on you so they could poop. Stupid and lucky is repeated several times in this article. And you know what? I hope that goes with her on her epitaph when she finally passes on many years from now. She's earned that title for life. And yeah, she's she's been arrested. She's uh, booked under $1,500 bond. 26-year-old uh, Luz Elizabeth what? Ray. No, you know, there are a lot of great zoos out there that'll give you exhibits to actually get close to some animals if yeah. you're really in the need. Yeah. You don't just jump into any exhibit and go, screw it, get this, okay, count of three, take this shot, and jump into their wall. And that's the thing, too. She's in the water. Like, she's really yeah. getting in there. Yep. Ugh. I, I, and, so, and someone helped. Someone was there with the camera going, you're crazy. Yeah. You're crazy. I know. I can I just in my head. Well, you're so crazy. Uh, Look at you in there with the monkeys. Uh, you're adorable. You're crazy. Do it again. Do it again. Uh, uh, why? We have the final one this week, which is. I don't understand. <laughs> this was this seems like a bucket list thing is the best explanation I can come up with. And it's not a good one. I can see jumping into the monkey pit being a monkey a bucket list thing at least, but 
Man uh, in stolen Humvee leads deputies on chase through Jefferson County. A man in a stolen National Guard Humvee. He going to prison, not just jail. Prison. Was arrested uh, following a police chase in parts of Jefferson County Friday evening. Adam Mabe was booked on charges of aggravated motor vehicle theft, DUI, trespass, vehicular eluding. That's an interesting way of saying it. That's car chase. Yeah. And criminal mischief at 7.30 p.m. Friday. Mabe allegedly stole a Humvee from the National Guard Armory. He drove through a fence when leaving. Suspect eluded sheriff's deputies and made his way through Golden, got onto C-470 and crashed at Highway 285 when he was taken into custody. No injuries were reported. It's not clear how he gained access to the Humvee. And it was under a DUI, too, so he was either drunk or high. <laughs> so he was not even, ha- he didn't have all his wits about him. Looking at the mugshot, wits aren't even in full abundance in the first place. Oh, my God. And he still got through, got into the Humvee, either got the keys or hotwired it. This and was a dare. And just bolted. This was a dare. Somebody dared his ass. I guess. They were at the bar. They were sinking uh some some beers and some and some Jaeger. Jaeger had to be involved. This is a Jaeger <laughs> event. No, this is hard liquor. You're right. This is not just Bud Light. And uh. someone says, Hey, I bet you can't get Humvee. Don't tell me what to do. I drive Humvees all the time. And, uh, and then he says, I know where a Humvee is that you can't have. I can have any Humvee. You just point and I'll get it. <laughs> I, I don't get the... It's, this is another one of those, what's the end game? Yeah, where, yes. where, where, where do we go from here? You yeah, once s- you're in the... He might have sobered up really quick while he was when he heard the car sirens, by the way. He might have really like, oh, crap, what do I do? Like real fast. You have stolen a federal fucking Humvee, for Christ's sake. Those things are usually not empty, by the way, in the back. They usually have a little bit of gear in them. So, man, oh, man, that's why I said he's not going to jail. He's going to prison. Yeah, he stole hard equipment from the military. They don't on like military grounds. And they don't like when you do that because you've made no. them look dumb. Everyone yes. who was involved looks dumb looks now. Dumb. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I'm, I'm not sure how he got. He snuck in to a compound like that and got the car even turned on in the first place. There was like, they don't leave the keys in those things. There was like about two seconds of yay. And then, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. That was just the entire rest of the drive was just, oh, no, no, no. Oh, and the damage to the fence, too, on the highway. I mean, that's not like any high, that's not high equipment, but still, that just keeps adding up. What what could he have told the cops? I want to know what was on the report from the cops that they told him, that this guy told him. I want to know what the first words were. Okay, you guys win. (laughs) <laughs> All right, I'll start back at the cop station with $500 less and I get to start over like Grand Theft Auto, right? <laughs> right? That's how it works. Uh, you couldn't pay me to do this. You really couldn't. No, I... There's a whole lot of oops here and a whole lot of you idiot here. Oops yeah. on the military side. Someone, there's an officer that's getting chewed out mm-hmm. for weeks because of this. He doesn't forget to let this go. But on top of that, this guy is a serious. I don't know what that tattoo is on his mugshot either. So maybe he has other bad decisions. Let's see if I can. Maybe you can make it out. I cannot. Enhance. Enhance. (laughs) Let's see if we can. It looks, is that a ram's head? That's what I was thinking, like horns or something? Like, because they curl. Because it's not a small piece. That's big. But. Enhance. It, it looks like, is that the devil? Oh, it could be a goat's head. Think about it. Do, do you, are, are you, you got the devil? Like Baphomet style? Yeah. Well, he's not going to help you now. <laughs> Baphomet told me to steal the Humvee. He's not going to help you. Oh, he's, he's like, laughing at you right now, pal. Okay. He thinks this is hilarious. God helps those who help themselves. The devil laughs at you. Yeah. He thinks this shit is funny. 
he got, he got he pulled a gotcha on you. You had that too much Jaeger, and someone <laughs> said Humvee over there has its lights on, and you ran for it. I guess the the first thing we learned this week is just <laughs> have an exit strategy for fuck's sake. That applies to a lot of these, but yeah, I don't know what this guy is going to do for an exit strategy in life now. He has a very limited options. We've learned that if you could do it, the monkeys can do it. Don't antagonize the fucking monkeys. Oh, leave them alone. They did nothing to you. I don't care how many likes you get on Instagram, lady. Please leave them alone. They're, they're not bothering you. Monkeys uh. can deck you, okay? Instantly. They're not like, you don't even see them winding up. They're, like, they're monkey jabs, and they will hurt. Right turn, Clyde. Boom, you're down. Um, we've learned that once you've completed your uh, attempted murder, it's 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 not like okay, all, we're done now. You, you don't get to clock out from crime. I forgot why I came in here. <laughs> oh. We've learned that. Uh -huh. You don't want to be the guy who ends up arrested for pointing a gun at the gas station dude because you had to poop. That will be your story in prison. Yeah. And you didn't even achieve either goal. You didn't get the door unlocked, and you didn't get to go poo. That'll be pistol you poop and pee. That, that's you. Pistol poop and pee. That's you. This is, the, this is the worst comic book I've ever read in my life. <laughs> this artwork is awful. We've learned that if if you've reached a certain age in your life, don't try to burn your neighbor's house. Yeah, just just hang. On. Just fuck. There's something on Netflix. Thirty bucks to pay some other kid in the neighborhood <laughs> to do it for you. Thirty <laughs> bucks, man. Thirty bucks. But you're gonna spend your whole Saturday collecting scrap and rather do that. Thirty bucks. That's worth your life now. 30 bucks. You could have made some high school kid's day giving him 30 bucks. And now you're going to jail. And, uh, and finally, we've learned capitalism finds a way. Yes. Capitalism now is proving a post pandemic that bands can make money off the people that made them miserable. It's like, it's capitalism is a system we use. And okay, we're going to use capitalism. Okay. No, not like no, that. Stop, stop no, that. No, not like that. Ah, uh, this is a good band too. You made me question humanity again. Yeah, just a little. I, a little. My work here is done. Good job.